Welcome back to GSC. Casper's behind me. We're gonna kinda do a couple of videos here. The first one though is about fuel pressure. So a lot of us know that these trucks have issues with the tank sock clogging. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around and explain to you guys how to test for that because I've had multiple phone calls and texts and other ways of communication the last couple of weeks of guys having idle issues, trucks that are dying, not running well, lack of power. So you can probably guess why we're doing this. We'll talk about it. So we're gonna talk about this whole fuel pressure thing. I've got a couple of guys that have called that had a clogged tank sock on the end of the sending unit. Unfortunately, I don't have a sending unit here anymore that I can show you what clogs. Uh, it's basically a white pre-filter that slips over the end, over the pickup tube. And once that sucker gets clogged up with debris, sand, silt, mud, fuel debris, whatever, you can basically count on one hand of how long it's gonna run before it stalls. So the way that you can test for this is use your stock filter head and throw a gauge in the top, or you can go ahead and use your T-drain and put a valve in that, or use your valve on it rather, and put a gauge on the end of it, and just watch your fuel pressure. Start the truck, let it idle, and when it dies, record the number that you see. If that fuel pressure sucks down to zero nearly instantly, you know that you automatically have a problem with A, the oil pressure switch, B, the lift pump, or C, possibly a tank sock that's clogged. So we'll get a little bit more in depth with that. If your OPS is new, or you have the Leroy or Zombie Solutions or whoever relay harness on it, and you know you've got power to the lift pump, you've got a new lift pump, you know that you're pushing fuel to the injection pump, what you can do is a five gallon bucket trick. I use this trick on all the old 50s trucks that I work on. And basically the easiest way to figure this out is here's your fuel tank, here's your lift pump. One end of that lift pump is just a generic O-ring fitting. They should not be metric. I wanna say they're 3 8 MPT or 5 16 I'd have to look. But just go get yourself a barb spike, put it in the inlet side of that where it's drawing off the tank and put your five gallon can somewhere next to the truck. When you do that, you're eliminating the need to draw from the fuel tank. When you're not drawing from the fuel tank, you can see if you get consistent pressure. Put your five gallon bucket down, let it draw through the lift pump, and then come back to the engine bay and record the numbers that you see on your fuel pressure gauge. Now, it may be a little low, it may be real high because it's a free flow coming out of that bucket. But if you can run for five minutes straight and you see no shake or waver in the gauge, it's a pretty good sign that you'll need to go ahead and figure out what's going on with your fuel tank. So the other thing you can do is take fuel cap off, put a rag in here, add about 15 pounds of pressure to it, and take the line off the front of the lift pump. When you pressurize it with air, it's gonna push up that sending unit and out the line at the back of that lift pump. And sure enough, you're gonna end up with either a consistent stream or you're not gonna get anything. If you get nothing or you get a very inconsistent stream of fuel, then there's a pretty good chance that your tank sock is clogged. So I really hope that it helps some you guys and going forward for troubleshooting, especially if you're having fuel pressure issues, but definitely consider that these trucks are 25 to 30 years old now and those tanks do delaminate inside. That coating can peel off, it can fall, it can drop, or just over time having old fuel, it can go ahead and kind of sludge up and it'll clog, clog that sock. So you've got two options. You can buy a stock AC Delco sending unit or whoever you want to use, or you can do a quad star tuning draw straw style with the billet sunder. That's what's in Casper, but this is a little more than your average pickup truck. So now you know. Happy troubleshooting. Thanks, guys.